Hey guys, Phoenix Gamer Knight back with another video, and this taste could be a little bit different. Um, this video is sponsored by Boost Mobile, so thank you to them for setting this up for me. Um, and basically, yeah, we're gonna do an unboxing and sort of overview of this new phone that they just released. Um, this is called the Celero 5G Plus. So they have two versions of this: they have the 5G and the 5G Plus. So this is the more high-end version. Uh, and what's great about this is this is like a $280 phone, uh, but right now it's on sale for $150, I believe. So um, basically they wanted to do a very affordable phone with very good specs, essentially. So, uh, and this is running Android, of course. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the Celero 5G Plus, um, when they told me about it, I was actually really, really interested. Um, I don't ever do unboxings, but I, I thought, why not? Because the, the specs looked pretty interesting for the price. So um, it's got a seven inch 1080p display. It has a... Uh, 50 megapixel, 5 megapixel, 2 megapixel um, with a 16 megapixel selfie camera. So great camos. It has a 5,000 milliamp battery, um, which if you want to compare that to the iPhone 14 Pro Max, it's the bigger version, that one has a little over 4,000 milliamp battery. So it lasts a good while. It also comes with a 15 watt fast charging and wireless charging, um, which is great. It's got 60 gigabytes RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. Um, and it does support, um, if 120 is not enough, it does come with a micro SD expandable memory, so you can increase it up to a terabyte if you want. Um, and in terms of the, the processing chip, the graphics, it's got a Snapdragon 695, um, the octa-core processor up to 2.2 gigahertz. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. We're gonna check it out, um, you know, set up the phone, probably play some COD Mobile. Yeah, oh, okay, I just, all right. I'm not good at unboxings, but there you go. So this is it. This is my first time actually looking at the unboxing here. So we do we do have the AC charger. This should be 15 watts. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Nice. So we got this. We got the charger cable, which is a USB A to USB C. The phone does use USB C, so that's good. So I'll connect to that. We'll put this on the side. And here is the phone. This is a seven inch display. For some reason, I thought it'd be smaller, but this thing is big. Oh my God. Why did I think it was gonna be smaller? That's so weird. Um, it also does have a fingerprint reader on the side button. Um, wow, this, I'm not gonna lie. This is a really solid phone. Like it's very well built. Let's go ahead and take this. Um, there you go. Okay. Wow, this is the phone. This thing is freaking big. <laughs> like, just texting. Oh my god, that's that's how I would text. And I just wow. Okay. So first impressions. Um wow, yeah, this is a this is their silver version. Um, I believe it's silver is the only color they have right now. Um and it just looks super nice. Like the finish is really nice. The camera, um, there's not really a camera bump. Um, I don't know if you guys could see that. You can, it may be a tiny bit from the lenses, but like it's not anything kind of protruding. Um, and yeah, wow, yeah. You got also got a headphone port, um, USB-C speakers, as well as a microphone. Um, and you do have SIM tray there if you want. Um, and yeah, let's, let's go ahead and boot this up, see if it'll actually turn on. I might need to charge, oh, there we go. Hey. All right, all right. But uh, we're gonna check out um, Basically, you know, the speeds of it, just the overall phone itself. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go set this up and uh, put COD Mobile on it. And yeah, I will be right back. Okay, so I got everything set up. Um, got COD Mobile, got past all the tutorials and whatnot. And um, I can tell you right now, the screen size, I think is perfect for a phone, at least for me. Seven inch is just so much better. Um, in comparison to like my iPhone, which is I think six point something or five point something. I can't remember the size of the phone, but this phone seven inches, it's just, it feels a lot more spacious. Um, if you go to settings, uh, max is the highest format you can put for this phone with the Snapdragon. Um, I kind of messed with the settings already. Um, I tried to hook it up to my capture card and I think my capture card is just having issues. So um, I'm just gonna do it via the camera and just show like a quick gameplay. Um, we'll go ahead and go into Frontline, and if you guys can't hear the game, I mean, so, well, I'll try. I'll try to, or, you know, we'll try to. I'll flip it this way then. 
Um, oh yeah, and I did, uh, I forgot to mention, yeah, there is a punch hole camera, um, which is really not noticeable, especially like when you're watching like a video or you're playing a game or something. I'm sure Android users with other phones are used to it. Um, but yeah, this is the brand new updates. I haven't posted a video of it yet, <laughs> but I need to. Um, but yeah, and I kind of just whipped up a HUD. I haven't played on phone in just ages, man, in ages. Um, and it's just, I don't know, I got used to the iPad after so long. Because, uh, for those who are kind of new with the channel, I've been in mobile gaming since the very beginning. Um, since back, like, when the iPod Touch first gen came out. So, I'm, I'm a relic in the community, man. I will say I don't recommend doing the FOV that I'm doing because holy, you need like 2020 vision to freaking see these guys. Because the the way I have my FOV is, I put it in such a way that it's just maxed out. So my god, everything's so freaking tiny. I'm kind of just guessing where they're at because it's hard for me to see. <laughs> and I got freaking glasses, man. Ah. Does that guy have a sniper? Hold on. Come on, try the sniper. Uh. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I just have it with this. Oh god, I forgot to change the sense. Oh god, it's so low. Oh god, it's so low. It's actually ridiculous. I'm kind of just I can't really slide scope. God, this sets awful. But yeah, this is, uh, I mean, cut mobile on this phone. I mean, it runs very well. Um, there was an option in the phone where you can kind of set it uh, as a smooth display. So it, it, will, it can go to 60 to 120 hertz. Um, this specific Snapdragon that's in this phone may not, um, may not either be optimized for the phone yet for the cut mobile. Um, may have not optimized this phone specifically for that 120 hertz option um, yet. Um... I don't know how long it usually takes. I mean, it depends, of course, you know, if the chip can handle and stuff. I'm not too familiar with Android chips, but I mean, this handles this very well. I mean, I'm not getting any screaming dimming. I'm not getting any lagging. It's this phone is not even hot. I don't even ha I don't have a case on it. it. It's I don't feel any heat at all. Uh, I'm playing this at whoops. I'm playing this at like what medium graphics with max FPS. I just played one game, one full match. Not hot at all. Um, it may get hot if you're like charging while playing, probably. But, but yeah, this is the uh, Celero 5G Plus. Ah, that is the uh, Celero 5G Plus. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, a link will be in the description. And yeah, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. Thank you, Boost Mobile, for the sponsorship. And uh, yeah, I am going to keep this phone around. It's gonna be nice to play some future games. Because if you guys don't know. Um, a lot of oh my, my 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 thing is going crazy. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn this off. Holy, um, so if you guys don't know, yeah, a lot of um mobile games that are coming out, the testing is usually on um, Android first. It's just easier for them to kind of give it to an audience earlier. So okay, you know what? Just thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.